Good morning, people. How are you all doing? It's about uh, 2.45 in the morning. Uh, kind of like, so should be sleeping, but then, yeah, I took a nap earlier, so I'm not feeling sleepy. So just thought, just do something casual. So right now, I have with me one fragrance from the Body Shop line. And uh, this is not very well known, as far as I know. This is more like unisex fragrance, just for fun, but more towards the ladies' side. So we'll be looking at this particular fragrance. It's called, from the body shop, it's called the uh, Karite. <laughs> and I like that the name, both are very challenging, so I really have to see how you pronounce them, right? So yeah, it's an EDD concentration, 30 ml bottle I have here. So we'll talk, look into details with this, and then, yeah, we'll talk about this a little bit. So let me show you the, what I'm wearing right at this moment. Like, uh, not should be, shouldn't be wearing anything, but then fragrances, you know. I'm wearing Lacoste Essential, very beautiful green scent beautiful beautiful summer scent but yeah during the winter time it's outside it's a bit cold but who cares <laughs> right so let's talk about body shop the house of body shop right so body shop is a house for me uh, we have a lot of history you know body shop and me we have a lot of history since uh, about what 1999 or 2000 early 2000s yeah so i kind of own all their men's line because uh, I visited once the body shop I visited only once and then I kind of liked their men's fragrances I didn't try the musk that one I didn't try but the rest of them I tried for the men's line the there was a in the black bottle there's one arbor there is one um, the lemon based scent so their fragrance kind of smell kind of great but uh, the problem with their fragrances the men and ladies side both they don't last you must have noticed as well so there's the body shop is kind of like a house they are kind of similar to Victoria's Secret and uh, as well as the Bath and Body Works in terms of their releases tons of releases oh my god I mean if you go to any of these three houses you'll see you cannot even tell how many fragrances they have in terms of perfume oil pure perfume oil and then the body mist then there is a EDT there is ETP list goes on and on but how body shop is a little bit different from those other two houses are they claim and i don't know how far this is true but they say usually their fragrance and products are uh, free from animal abuse animal cruelty and more like natural ingredients but what i really feel is they don't have really those um, quality of the product for fragrance especially they don't really last so their focus for body shop you know this house to me they're really good with their the shower gel i really like those i like their facial wash they have few masks for women they also have the body butter and cream so yeah they do have some beauty products very organic like aloe vera blah blah fruity these that aromatic and then if you want to spa a lot of good products but then the fragrances they smell nice like this one i picked up this is actually uh unisex fragrance as i told you this one my mom uses this and um uh, I just thought like let's just do a review of it let's see what i get out of it so maybe something different from the whole point of you know whole line of reviewing right so coming back to this fragrance this is actually um, as i said shay i hope i pronounced it correct and then karite karite is a i think it's a word i don't know african or something they that this is the they basically mean the same thing all right i'll come to that so this is a release of 2012 the concentration is edt and um, this one doesn't come with any package this one just comes like a bottle like this they give it in a package and just take it and go home that's it be happy nothing fancy <laughs> all right so the the what else it's i think you know i look for information for this particular fragrance because this one's body shop most of the fragrances they don't uh, come with so much of a uh, note breakdown and whatnot in fragrantica so i couldn't get so much information so i just thought i go with my instinct whatever i get from it I'm gonna talk about it, all right? So the this fragrance, I think the classification this, for this should be aromatic gourmand, semi gourmand dish because it has gourmand vibe, all right? So the notes I pick from this particular fragrance, all right, uh, are I think according to my nose, my <laughs> little experience nose, I have something on some on my skin. I'm gonna spray it again. So just to see the top notes, all right? So the notes I think according to me are citrus the orange mandarin orange they have the shea butter and then the white floral and musk 
very simple nose breakdown doesn't do much doesn't transform that much so let's just uh, this one also sorry the price for this are quite cheap you can find this i think malaysia i think the ringgit i think how much it would be this have a whole line they have like six seven eight similar kind of bottle with different take different notes some of them smell like mango some of them like strawberry some of them like chocolate coffee you know they have like seven or eight lines so if you look into this line this kind of bottle you can look they have quite a few ones they have also one in mandarin orange or something that one smells very nice okay so the price for this i think is around 50 60 ringgits i think that would be like how much 15 give or take 15 us dollars yeah about 15 us dollars so not that expensive you know you can obtain this here and this is very good for carrying in purse you know just respray and then you know refresh and then the presentation for this is pretty simple right comes with the cap chromish cap but actually you can hear very very thin if you if you really press hard it's gonna change the shape the sprayer here very standard sprayer nothing fancy as you can see the bottle looks a little bit like a cocoa that kind of color a bit brownish it says body shop here and then it says the the name Shea and the Karite <laughs> EDT and uh, yeah it, there's some like a, a note here it says with the community fair trade essence from sugar king Oh, okay and then some in French <laughs> so I can't read that I don't read French I don't understand so I'm not gonna bother it says the 30 ml and then yeah 1.0 fluid ounce yeah so here at the back you get your sticker I mean I haven't seen anyone faking body shop fragrance maybe they're too cheap to <laughs> copy but anyway I'm showing you so it says uh, made in France here and then yeah the, the, the serial number here and that's kind of good stuff so it's like edt and then nothing fancy the sprayer the bottom actually there's something in the bottom i don't know what is there two holes makes no sense to me the sprayer look works all right okay gives a lot of juice no no complaint so for the mm, smells smell wise is very nice very pleasant smell so for the presentation without any box i'm gonna give this it's not bad just let's just give it six out of ten decent you know it doesn't it looks cute all right much better than many other tacky bottles all right so six all right so this particular fragrance i want to talk about a few things right the name shea where does it come from shea is uh, i read about this the dear google <laughs> give me providing me with this up information right so it says it's an uh, ivory white slash white colored fat that is extracted from the nut of an african shea tree all right known by many local names such as Karite, right? Karite is the language of Senegal, all right? It's in language of Senegal, as well as some part of Africa. This one is named as O-R-I, Ori. I don't know, maybe Ori, all right. So there goes the complicated part. So let's come to the this particular fragrance, what it smells like, what is it good for? Mm, how's the rating on this, all right? So let me tell you one thing first of all, from this line, any fragrance you buy from this line, is gonna be absolute horrible longevity that one thing I have to tell you if your thing is longevity don't look into this but if you're looking for something different that smells pleasant and you know you it is EDT but then if you're looking for something more like ADC concentration just refresh once in a while they have few others like Mojito Accord they have a lot of this C Italian this they have very fancy names so the EDT line from the body shop usually kind of sucks alright so performance right in the top horrible but the smell of some of these are absolutely gorgeous i have to tell you this because that's why body shop fragrance are very very popular among ladies and some of them do really perform the perfume oil especially and then the edp ones so there's one from this uh, house i really dig the black vanilla i absolutely love it it smells like niche quality very much like my prada amber intense maybe sometimes a bit like tom ford kind of feel yeah that one is a gem so look into black vanilla if you ever get a chance in the body shop very good fragrance and not exactly cheap also all right 50 60 dollars plus all right so this one as i told you the top notes let me spray it because this one actually is built for unisex both 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 can try why not since i'm wearing lacoste where here here my hands are free all right let's just see how many sprays do you need you need a lot of sprays with this i say go with 16 20 sprays if you want to make it last half day right because this one doesn't doesn't last on your skin so up top you get oh god 
<laughs> all right got some on my nose all right so this one up top you get a little bit of of course there's no alcohol they say but then it's alcoholified so it's a bit synthetic and everything you just let it wear out <laughs> all right so then yes then you start getting the fragrance all right very light very light airy first up and then you get a little bit of that mandarin orange and then the citrusy sort of like that feel you know opening very fresh summery tells you right up see the watery vibe in this it's kind of like a summer kind of fragrance most of body shop fragrances are for summer built for summer all right if you're going for a summer day out if you're working lady if you're wearing a scarf at the side you know you're just tight young girls young chicks yes absolutely but any age can wear this all right definitely so the highlight of this fragrance is that shea butter all right so it's like a buttery creamy sort of like gourmandish that's where the gourmand feel comes if you know valentino humo the original humo that has some hazelnut spread feel touch of coconutty feel cocoa a little bit of the hazelnut that feel from this all right very light very airy so that's your top note which literally lasts like five minutes all right it's gonna be half an hour fragrance so i'm gonna tell you top note middle note and base note very very quickly and the review is gonna be a shorter as well because the fragrance is short-lived <laughs> all right so the second or the last stage rather you know like the dry down what you get this one actually ultimately you know when it dries down i test on my skin it was on my skin for some time 20 minutes it's very faint already so what i really get is this bit of suntan lotion with the feel of cocoa butter, a bit of chocolatey, like, you know, not really dark chocolate, it's a bit like cocoa, if you know, uh, Horlicks or Ovaltine, something of those drinks with the hazelnut sprayed, something like that, like white chocolate mix. Yeah, that kind of feel, very nice, very, very good. It, it almost, believe it or not, if you're Valentino more Intense, there is a note in Valentino more Intense, which smells very identical to this. If you like that smell, it has that feel. I'm shitting you not. Trust me, that's why I chosen to talk about this fragrance, despite all the shitty performance and everything. This is so cheap. 10, 15 bucks, how much? Seriously, guys, you know, how much you're going to lose? And this is for men and women, right? So I really see this is as a very beautiful, sweet, uh, daring, like very dearly loved kind of a fragrance. If you put this on, likelihood is no one's going to tell this is your cheaper fragrance or cheaper cologne you're putting it on, all right? because of the beautiful um, creamy cocoa hazelnut spread that sort of a smell and then it gives also that vibe of that lotion if you put in a suntan lotion or something like a nice lotion you know i use lotion so yeah let's say something like this but this has a cocoa cocoa version that is like a cocoa feel you know like chocolatey feel from the this line vaseline right smells like that if you put it on a bit creamy bit lotiony very aromatic very very close to the skin very classy very uh sometimes feels like uh you know nutella you put it on your bread you eat it that's where the gourmand comes touch of citrus and then dies down with the mask typical white mask sort of like um floral white floral feel as well so very simple sort of fragrance you can be liberal with the sprays this is not, not going to be cloying put some on your scarf maybe last a little bit longer so ultimate Let's look at the chart. Longevity, 2 out of 10. If you're lucky, you're going to get 2 hours out of this. <laughs> Alright. I would think on my skin, our condition, maybe 1 hour tops with a lot of sprays. Alright. Smell, 8 out of 10. I really love the smell of this, guys. You know, <sighs> maybe to say Valentino more intense, no, not even comparison. Comparing or anything, it's not a comparison. But then, yeah, the feel from it. Give it time on your skin and just put it in your nose. Try it, walk around and see what you get. If you do get Valentino Humo, do let me know, all right? The projection for this is also poor. Three out of 10, doesn't project at all. It's more close to your skin for you to enjoy. And if someone is like jumping on your lap and you're carrying someone, yeah, they'll be like, oh, you smell like cologne, <laughs> right? Compliments from this, maybe, yeah. Seven out of 10, I'll give this on the higher side. Likely you're gonna get compliments out of this, all right? uniqueness yes from the body shop line many of the fragrance have these unique notes they try to you know like get that authentic sort of fruit whatever they do whatever their focus is you know fruit if it's gourmand they try to replicate very original smell so for that originality uniqueness i'm gonna give nine out of ten 
very high unique factor in this i really never smelled so many of this fragrance in this price range or this kind of concentration or such a simplistic presentation such a good quality scent all right for age any age can pull this off men women feel free this is very unisex all right something for ladies some for men purpose i would say you can carry it in your purse guys don't have a purse so in your wallet i don't see this carrying it's too fat as you can see all right in your pocket is going to be oddly shaped people may say are you carrying nail polish bro really bro <laughs> so guys you can steal one or two sprays from your ladies doesn't hurt right right next one would be a uh, work uh, casual uh, cinema school kids definitely this is this can make a good school kids scent it has mature touch to it but if you're in school and college ladies you're gonna love this all right this is very good for you know your mean girls if you have a movie movie time with your popcorn and everything put this on sometimes if you're in, in dating as well not for the young ladies i'm saying i'm saying for any ladies if you're going to date or something something casual you know the guy already you do you, you don't feel like wearing fragrances something light airy not cloying just for comfy not to smell like nothing this this would be a good choice all right and then the feel from this is the cocoa butter lotion aloe vera hazelnut creamy citrus that sort of a feel from this fragrance so yeah for 15 bucks you cannot go wrong right i'm not quite sure i'm do not quote me on the price but it's somewhere there it cannot be exceeding 20 dollars so very good budget fragrance all right yeah for the smell of it yes uh it wins but performance wise if you're looking for a performer don't look here even even a fragrance like lacoste essential which is not known to be there for their performance this one will get six times more performance than this all right for a summer fragrance but for the body shop not bad quite unique fragrance overall mark i'm gonna give this for the scent everything considering i'm gonna give this 6.5 just for the smell itself i'm gonna give this 6.5 projection longevity forget about it look into the body shop and the whole line quite a few nice smelling fragrance in there and do look into black vanilla very nice fragrance all right guys thank you for watching hope to talk to you soon guys and do let me know your thoughts on the house of body shop talk to you soon good night from Bangladesh. bye bye